Now, in today's video, we'll be discussing the module three, super important question of SCDP, which is regarding the behavioral pattern and commands. A very important question from exam point of view. You have to write a few key points and just uh, draw a diagram. Okay, so let's get started. Make sure the like button, subscribe, and for more videos like this. And without wasting more time, let's get started. The first uh, thing is we'll be defining what is our behavioral pattern. What is behavioral pattern? It is concerned with assignment of responsibilities. There are some responsibilities you have to assign it. That is called as behavioral pattern. It has the communication between them, and uh, the two things are the classes and objects. In the classes pattern, it uses inheritance, and the object pattern uses the composition uh, rather than inheritance okay and what is command design pattern command design pattern is uh, something that encapsulates a request on the object if a request is coming that will be encapsulated as an object and then what will happen it lets parameterize the client uh, with different requests the client will be sending the request it lets them to send different different types of requests also it encapsulates the command into objects whatever is coming into the input that is uh, encapsulated as an object that's the main key point in the command design pattern what is its applicability it lets parameterize the object to perform action the objects are present and the actions are performed uh, accordingly and the second thing is the specify of the queue and the execute uh, request at different times. The queue is specified and the uh, requests are executed at different times. And it also supports undo and logging changes. And finally, we have its structure system along high level operations. Let's have a look at uh, the structure. In the structure, you have the client here, and the client has a particular state as well as it is connected with the receiver. And client receiver and uh, the receiver also has an action. Okay. And in the receiver side, we have the concrete command as well as the execute. So these two things uh, form the receiver and they send some uh, receiver stuff to the uh, receiver and then we have the command and execute that is uh, involved with the invoke action and uh, whatever the command has to be executed that is uh, getting sent to the invoker and then the invoker uh, will be able to uh, perform the uh, action along with the client's request so that's all what happens here and make sure the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next time